We have the equivalent of a 9-11 happening every three weeks. 72,000 people died last year. It's the number one cause of death for people under 50. I am addicted and I need help. There's a study that asks, how many close friends do you have who you could turn to in a crisis? The most common answer is none. As the number two ranking officer in the military, I worked to keep our nation safe, but I never realized that it was gonna hit so close to home. I was out there for five years, shooting up meth and heroin every two hours. We have an opioid problem. It's not safe. It got so bad, I had to go out and see the situation firsthand. We have an overprescription problem. It's easy to disregard people who you see on the street and never actually think about where they come from and who they are. I had a good life and I had a career. I had three children. One evening, my feet went out and my back hit the step. This is where my substance abuse with opioids started. I had to call Representative Pedersen and say, I know you've been working all day to end the opioid epidemic, but your mother's actually overdosed and is very close to death. 80% of the people who are addicted in this country are employed. They go to work every day. Doctors, lawyers, college students. Why don't they go into treatment? If you want to understand why people are turning in such huge numbers to painkillers, you've got to understand why they're in such pain. The opposite of addiction is connection. We brought a package of bills to address the gaps that people are facing at every level. Thank you so much. You don't see a lot of 65-year-old heroin addicts lying around. She should be dead. Two years ago, I was dope sick in a park. I can't believe where I am today. I'm sitting at a table with a senator, an admiral, and a congressman. The opioid won the battle, but uh, we're going to win the war.